G'day, I'm your local buffhead, Reverend Ron Hutchinson, and this is the first week we're going to do of the Fringe Challenge. So please sign up uh, at the online school. I'll put the links below and stuff so you can join in. That would be brilliant. But uh, each week I'm going to come on here and I'll talk you through it as well and give you a bit of advice. But get in so you can enjoy and talk to the others and what you're finding um, so we can share together. But each week's just little challenges and it's going to grow and grow and grow. Um, I plan on doing this for close to a year um, if my procrastination doesn't get the better of me. And uh, we can push through. I've worked on this a long time and I think it'll be great for our church to move forward and build disciples. So without further Further ado, let's get into it. So this first week, we've titled uh, "Seeing Past the Damage," and this is what one of the big things about Fringe is focused on: is is not looking at the external of, of the person or where the person is in their life or what's going on, but looking at what God has done in them. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we'll start off with a little bit of scripture. So Matthew nine eleven to thirteen. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come not to call the righteous, but the sinners. God created us all in a Margo day, which means a fancy word, which means in the image of God. We're all created in the image of God. Um, and we forget to look for God in other people sometimes. We can focus on the dirt and the damage and the, the rubbish which life makes us look like. We all go through stuff in life. Um, and depending on where you are, that can look different for different people. So, what do we look at? To the people who live in our time. To be more like Christ, we need to see the Imago Day that is still there at work inside everyone. To be able to look past the rubbish and the damage which this life has caused people. <clears throat> To do this, we need to open our hearts and get to know people's stories. And that's what this week is really focused around. In spending time with someone, you get to know them. You will see the Imago Dei, the image of God, what they're created like, waiting to be restored. So the practical steps for this week, it's to go out and to talk to people. And it's not to talk to people about God. This isn't about evangelism. This isn't about uh, converting people or getting other notches on your Bible. It's uh, always be ready to give an honest answer if someone asks you questions. But how are we going to go about this this week? First, start each day in prayer. Ask God to help you to see people who you come across the way he sees them. Ask God to highlight people that you can get to know this week. Tell God in advance that you are willing to respond to the people he puts in your path. Secondly, be ready for the opportunities. Look for people to start a conversation with. Approach your day with your head up and your eyes open and be ready to respond to God's call, to the people he puts in your path. Remember, it's not about preaching the Bible. It's not about talking to God this week. It's just getting to know people, getting used to it. Ask questions. Just be curious. It's okay. Remember, it's not an interrogation by any means. You are just hoping to learn a little bit about someone. What do they like to do? Do they have pets? What are their hobbies? What do they do in their downtime? You know, simple things. Just talk to someone new and get to know them. And look for God. This is where sometimes an attitude adjustment needs to happen in us. Um, 
as we have our conversations, ask God to show us his masterpiece, which he's created in every single person. Not what we see, not the damage and dirt on the outside, but ask God to show us his masterpiece in each, every individual. And I want you to interact with at least one person a day. So one person you each day, looking for, looking for God in them, not focusing on the rubbish and the dirt. And if you can, grab a folder or a book or something, write down their names. Not while you're talking to them, but write down their names. And uh, I want you to ask these couple of things as well. What did you find most difficult about this task? Who was the most interesting person you met? And how has this helped you to see others how Jesus did? All right, bye for now. We'll see you.